Buckle in everyone. Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the brand new Bias desktop plugin from Positive Grid. So today I thought we would go over Bias Desktop in a slightly different manner than what we normally do. I thought I would try my hand at voiceovers and some fancy stuff and see how you guys like it. And beware, this video is very long and down below in the description there is time codes to skip to different chapters if you so choose. So let's get started and I will tell you what Bias Desktop is all about. Bias Desktop is all about great tone with 36 historic amps that are plug and play and sound great. The insane amount of virtual customization lets you tweak every part of the signal chain including the preamp, the tone stack, the power amp, the transformer, the cab, microphone, and even global EQ. Additionally, if you have a favorite amplifier or cabinet combination, you can now take them with you using Positive Grid's new amp matching technology and upload those tones to the cloud and straight to your iPad or iPhone. Bias Desktop starts with 36 of the most sought after vintage and modern amps as a starting point for your customization. You can modify these amps and virtually build your custom amps by swapping out the tubes, preamp, transformer, tone stacks, cab, and mic to create your own distinctive signature sound on an interface that stays out of your way. Amps are divided into 10 categories. Clean, glassy, blues, crunch, high gain, metal, insane, acoustic, bass, and your own custom category for your presets. The Bias Desktop interface has three main sections, the top, middle, and lower. The top is where you find the modules, the middle is with the currently selected module, and the bottom is the global controls. These controls include input gain, hum reduction, noise gate threshold and decay, quick snap which allows you to A and B settings quickly, room control with size, dampening, color, and mix, and finally the overall output. Lastly, if you want to cosmetically change your amp, you can do just that. You can rename your amp, you can change the Tolex, you can change the knobs, and you can even upload your own custom picture for your amp's background. Pretty cool. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to take you through the process of creating a custom tone within BIOS Desktop. We're going to go over each section and we're going to come up with a great usable clean tone that I really dig. And I'm going to be using this LTD uh, Ben Wyman signature guitar. It's a semi hollow body with EMG 57 and 66 pickups, which sound wonderful and they're, they're not super high output and they create some really good cleans. For this amp, I wanted something really clean, so I chose the RC120, which is a solid state amp. First, I'm gonna adjust the overall volume of the amp and play with the gain so it doesn't break up too much. First, I'm going to look at the preamp tubes. Twelve AU7 preamp tubes are low gain and lend themselves to cleans. Even though this sounds pretty good, I'm still gonna play with the tone stack just to see what it sounds like. Now I'm gonna see how different power tubes affect the tone. Transformer section will affect overall feel. The fat style transformer really adds a nice bottom end to the tone. Now I'm going to simply try a few cabinets. The screen back cap is definitely my favorite. I really like the chime of the 57, but it doesn't hurt to see what the other mic sounds like. Now I'm going to add a little bit of high end using the global EQ. bit of the room reverb will tie everything together. I think that's it.
Now I'm gonna show you the process of creating a crunchy metal rhythm guitar tone within Bias Test Top, also using the same guitar. However, this time we're going to be on the bridge pickup, which is an EMG 57. For the high gain amp, I really wanted to choose something classic, so I chose a rectifier. First I'm going to start off by tweaking the mids and reducing the bass and gain. The 12 AT7 preamp tubes really lend to the clarity. EO34 power tubes really have a mid-range bite that lend themselves well to clarity. I normally like the fat style transformer, but it's a bit much. Now, I'm going to try moving both mics around and see which I like best. The SM57 seems to have too much upper mid-range for me in this instance. Now, onto the Global EQ. Bias Desktop's amp matching feature allows you to instantly replicate any real-world amp tone right on your Mac or PC. Set your input signal from a mic'd amp or pre-recorded guitar track and Bias Desktop will invisibly insert additional processing into the signal path to make your current amp precisely match the tone of the input guitar signal. Once your tone is captured and replicated, you can save it as a custom preset and share it with other musicians on Bias's Tone Cloud. So now I'm going to take you through how to actually match your amp using Bias Desktop. And for this process, I'll be using this 2012 Gibson Les Paul Traditional with my own signature Beard Comer uh, pickups from Fastback. The amp that we will be matching today is a Mojo Tone JCM 800 amp into a cracky 2x12 cabinet with a Celestion Creamback H speaker and a Shure SM57 microphone. First, we need to dial in a tone that is similar to the amp that we are going to be matching to make it easier for the plugin to match tones. And for this, I have chosen uh, what is basically a plexi tone. 
and it sounds like this. <laughs> There are three main parts in the amp matching process, the source, the target, and matched. First, we will capture the source amp that we dialed in within BIOS Desktop. Next, we will select our microphone input and sample the sound of our amp. Using the match EQ controls, we will listen to the real amp and then fine tune using the three band EQ. Now that we're familiar with BIOS Desktop, let's see what it's like to use it in a real recording situation within a DAW. For this example, I will be using Logic Pro X. So this is my project. I have MIDI drums, I have two clean tracks, and I have two dirty tracks. Now the waveforms that you see are the actual raw DI tracks, and the DI tracks can be had by plugging in your guitar into the interface and recording the resulting sound. This is the actual raw sound coming out of my guitar. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Bias Desktop as a plugin to put it on each guitar track and pick a sound, which is the nice thing about recording a DI and using it after the fact. So first I have a clean tone. I'm going to solo and we're going to listen to a raw guitar track before we put Bias Desktop on it. So that's what the actual guitar track sounds like and we are now going to put Bias Desktop on the first track and then once we have a good tone that we like we're going to put it on the other uh, right panned guitar which is playing the identical part. So I'm going to go down to my track, I'm going to insert the plugin. I'm going to go down to my menu, hit positive grid and select Bias. Now it's a clean guitar tone that I want. So we are obviously going to go into the clean tones and I know I like the match 30 amp and we'll see how that sounds first. Now I'm going to play it, I'm going to put a loop on it, and I'm going to just tweak and listen and go through each module and just play with some settings and see what I come up with.
that sounds pretty good. Right now, I'm gonna copy the same instance of the plugin and put it on the other track and then pan them left and right and see how that sounds. So that sounds really good and I really like how that sounds. I did want a really crisp and clean guitar tone and I think I achieved that. So now we're gonna move on to the dirty tone and we're going to repeat the process of soloing out the track, looping it. We're gonna adjust a few of the things in Bias Desktop and then see how that sounds. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I really wanted a grungy rectifier-like tone, so I think that nails it pretty good. Now let's double it into the right-hand panned guitar track, and let's see how it sounds. I think those tones turned out great. They're nice and they're grungy and they're just awesome. They sound huge. And once I add a bass guitar to fill in the bottom end, I'll be good to go. As I touched on at the very beginning of the video, you can customize your amp cosmetically as well. You can rename, change the Tolex of, change the knobs of and add a background to your custom amp. The possibilities are endless. All right, that about wraps it up. I hope you've learned something and get to check out Bias Desktop. I have really enjoyed it. I've been playing with it for a few months now through the different iterations and the versions that have been in development and it has turned out wonderfully. My name is Fluff, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.